Yet a, it's got to be a code inspection. Only if it's a new construction. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We are honored to over 30 years, and Ken just reminded me we're now coming up to 35 years for me and 30 for him, Mm -hmm. past 30 for you, Mm -hmm. and over 3,117 families that we either help buy, sell, or invest in real estate. And it's about so much more than that. It's about helping people build their faith, build their fun, build their fitness, build their finances, and even strengthen, heal, and flourish inside relationship. We're going to discover, we got some discovery going on here. When may it make sense to have a building inspection? And you may be surprised by some of the answers is my little spoiler alert. <laughs> That's good. The so, first one, which is obvious. Mm-hmm is when you're purchasing a house. Yep. A resale. Yeah. That's a good idea, which Mm -hmm. we've been exploring in segment Mm -hmm. A and segment B on this particular show, Mm because if you're not aware, we actually do videotape these shows, and they're on our YouTube channel, and they're broken down to little 10-minute segments rather than a 30-minute podcast. Yeah. And I think it's important to know that You know, in the beginning, home inspectors, it was the Wild West. There were no certifications. There were no registration of home inspectors. And basically, it was contractors that started to get their, their, started to do inspections for people. And that was about 35, 40 years ago, Mm -hmm. which we talked about in a previous segment. Yeah. And it was okay. One of the issues was that they were not independent. So, Sometimes a contractor who saw some business in the future might point out things or say that things needed to be repaired that maybe could have been okay for a few more years or maybe not necessarily a a big deal. Um, So that's why when we went to independent inspectors, it was great because most inspectors, they don't have a business to repair anything. Most do not. And that's what we talked about in the other segment about perspective or biases, right? If I know a lot about one thing, I may focus on that thing more as an Mm -hmm. inspector. And if I have the opportunity to get work out of it without even meaning to, I'm going to highlight more of those things that I will probably benefit from. Yeah, it's possible. It's, it's It's a risk. Yeah. So hence why it was great when the certifications came out. Yeah. So we recommend you get an inspector that's full-time, has some kind of a designation or registration of their business Mm -hmm. uh, with an association of inspectors of some sort. Mm -hmm. I think it's called Apache or something is the short form. Um, And that's an important piece because – not only do they have the training that's required to get that that designation or that registration, they also have a certain number of inspections, paid inspections that they've done. To, and they have insurance. And they do have they insurance. They have insurance in case something goes wrong. Mm-hmm. Because it's okay, it's not okay. And occasionally it's going to happen that something that's significant is missed. Yeah. Doesn't happen often and it happens. So therefore the inspectors have insurance and so much better to have that than a relative or a friend or a contractor cuz now you're going to hold want to hold them liable but you can't. Mhm. Exactly. So the other time you want to get a, an inspection is on new construction. Yeah. And this one even the realtors are kind of um divided on this a little bit, whether you should have a registered home inspection at your PDI, which is your pre-delivery inspection of a new home. And I don't know if you've ever bought a new home, but when you buy a new home, there is a a few days before closing, there's a pre-delivery inspection. And you go through with usually the site foreman or the management company, right? Yeah. And they're going to Put little stickers or little green, green pieces tabs. of tape yep. on where there's dents and where there's 
problems, Missing cracks growth, or, or crack a nail growth, pop or, or yep. something like that. What they're not doing is they're not going up in the attic to make sure the insulation is the right thickness and it's spread evenly. They're not opening up the electrical panel and making sure it's wired to code. Things of that nature, and whereas a home inspector will. Yes. So builders don't always love that, do they? They don't, and yet it's back to what I was saying in one of the other segments is it's insurance. Think of the five to $700 that you're spending as a assurance, insurance assurance, I think maybe is a better word, assurance that what you think you're buying is actually what you're buying. So in this case, if it is for new construction, it is actually a code inspection, which is contrary to what is done when it's a resale inspection. Exactly. It's more safety and high ticket mm -hmm. items for repair. Mm -hmm. And you, again, you might be saying, oh, this is going over my head a little bit, Ken and Yetta. We'd be happy to sit down with you and do a consult and see when it's the right time to get an inspection. Are you thinking of selling? Are you just staying? And we're going to hit some points soon on whether you, when you're staying, you still may want a home inspection. Remember, I said there'd be some Spoiler surprises. Alert. Spoiler yes. alert again. Yeah. And so if you're in your home, the third time you might want an inspection is when you're actually going to be putting your home on the market. And you want to know what there is to know about your house. Now, we did say that every inspector is going to inspect different things. That's not mm -hmm. the final word. That doesn't mean they're going to find everything. And they ought to find the big ticket items. And the reason that's advantageous, potentially, unless you've had us walk through and we've shared with you what things are potentially going to come up. So you get to decide here. Mm -hmm. If you have a trusted realtor that understands construction, you may choose not to spend the money or you may choose to spend the money anyway because, again, it's assurance. So you can get a quote for the item if there's something wrong. You could choose to fix it if, you, if that makes more sense to you and it'll actually be more advantageous to fix it than just have a quote for it. Mm -hmm. Or you can price the home to reflect what you know is up about the house. Yep, needed and to be done. Needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And you can then price it accordingly and disclose. Disclose, disclose, disclose. And you can have a conversation with us as to whether it makes sense to disclose that particular thing or not. Yeah, and most things that need to be disclosed are of a latent detail, right? Hidden defect. Hidden, they're hidden. Yeah, they're of a latent nature. And so... The beauty is we've even got a form for that now. We do. The Real Estate Association has created a form for sellers to disclose known defects in their home. So if you've done one of these inspections, then that's the form. And that way buyers can't come back after you later and say, hey, you knew about that leak or you knew about that thing and you didn't tell me. Mm -hmm. Like if it's visual and the window pane is cracked, Eh, yeah, it's buyer there's beware. nothing, you know, <laughs> they can see that unless you're having it replaced. One of our sellers right now has spent the last six months getting his home ready for market, getting it just the way he wants it. He's very particular, very detail oriented. And there's a few of the items that have been on back order, back order, back order. So they mm. haven't come in yet. So we're disclosing that those things are going to yeah. be done. Yeah. Now okay. the fourth time is really for your own peace of mind, things that you want to get maintenance done on. And if you're not sure if it's the right time to get a building inspection, give us a call, 613-860-4663. And we're grateful that you joined us on Life's Inside Track because when we move forward together, together, we've got this. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.